Getting with report cards are in. The Texas Education Agency released their scores today, and many showed improvements year to year. Maggie Lowe Miller has more on what parents need to know before looking up your school. Lindsay, parents across the state were taking a hard look at those numbers, but what exactly do they mean to school administrators? We have to be absolutely focused on digging in to give each and every one of those kids the education that they deserve. Usually it's the students that are getting tested, but today it was the educators that were getting a report card. Waco ISD got a B. We're certainly pleased to see that movement from a C to a B this year. Um, as you look across the campus ratings as a whole, there's a lot to celebrate. But that doesn't mean that every school within the district was ranked the same. There are also some very clear reminders that the work that we have to do isn't done yet. J.H. Hines Elementary School got a failing grade, while Waco High School garnered a B. Colleen ISD has a similar story. We've increased our cumulative uh, accountability rating uh, over, over 10 points from uh, 76 to an 86.3. But again, there are a mix of scores for the individual schools. Colleen ISD Early College High School got an A, while Meadows Elementary School got a D. Part of these scores are based on star testing performance. The focus has not been on uh, purely star assessments or star scores results. Um, we take really more of a holistic approach, like I say, looking at several metrics to ensure that students are growing over the course of an ac academic year. Belton ISD received a B rating, just like last year, but increasing by five percentage points. The district said they are happy with the growth, but they wrote in a statement, I want parents and the community to recognize and understand that the scores and rating don't accurately paint a picture of the quality of our schools and the breadth and depth of teaching and learning experiences that public schools provide for children. These grades are important and they do matter, but they don't capture everything that's important and they aren't the only thing that matters. For a look at how your school district performed, head over to our website, kxxv.com. In Colleen, Maggie Lowmiller, Central Texas News Now.